This video is part of a series. Complete the previous videos in this playlist before you start this video. The complete playlist information, the material and the code file information is given in the video description below. Now the last data type is a set. Set is a very rarely used as I told you. This list is the most widely used one. Dictionary is the next one. Tuple sometimes set is very rare, but maybe in future, if at all, you come across it. In fact, in my whole, uh, may, I may have written a hell lot of uh, code. Out of all that, not even 0.01% of the cases I have seen set being used. Okay. But still, it's good to know what is a set. And there is one big point in set that I want to highlight. Sometimes some people get confused. A set is simply a collection of unordered values, unordered unique values. So automatically, if you put the values inside a set, automatically, it is almost like you have to imagine set like when you are imagining a list, you will imagine in an ordered manner. When you are imagining a tuple, you will imagine in an ordered manner. This is the first element, second element, third element, fourth element like that. The tuple also ordered. Whereas in a set, you cannot imagine like this. There is no ordering. Set you have to imagine in our school days, there are sets, right? This is set A. This is set B. This is called intersection. Do you remember that? This is set A. This is set B. What is this called? Both all the elements together. That is union. Mm -hmm. This is set A. This is set B. In our school days, we have sets. This is exactly those sets. Now, if you remember in our school days, the set was like the values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We used to write like that, isn't it? And then there was no ordering in that. The values are 9, 8, 6. And the common values are 10, 11, 19, like that. Okay. Now, how sets are defined? And there is no index in set. There is no indexing. So the way you access and all that, maybe you have to store a set again in a list and then again, if you want to index. So this is a kind of troublesome one. Like it is not always useful, but who knows? There are some places where you want to store them in a set. Then uh, if you want to access, then you can use them as a collection of set or collection of values that are stored in a set. So you can define a set in uh, two ways. The most commonly used way is a set function, but there is one more way as well. Let me define a set called products is equal to you can define it using square brackets phone tv tablet laptop fridge camera these are the products that i have now square these are sorry not square brackets the curly braces the curly braces we have already used for a different uh, data type what was that dictionary dictionary we have already used curly braces for a dictionary but we are using them for a set as well but what is the difference how does python understand this is a set here we have no keys. no keys, no values, no colons. So are we creating ambiguity or there is clarity? Have we given hint to Python that I'm not defining a dictionary, I'm defining a set, isn't it? So Python That's will right. understand there is no key value pair, it's a set. But if you want to be on the safe side, because curly braces, dictionaries, I think I want you to fix in your mind, curly braces are for dictionaries. So I want you to use a set function instead of these curly braces. Sometimes I have seen people getting confused whenever we see curly braces, since we use dictionary multiple times, we tend to associate this with dictionary. So do not use this. Okay. Even though it works, do not use this because it just creates confusion. And I don't want you to be confused in the beginning. Later on, once you get advanced, automatically you will be clear. I would like to use in this manner. My products is equal to set function. You can use, I will use set function and you give the list of values, whatever are the values that you give. If you now. Say anyway, I have said set function, it has to be a set function. The reason why I'm saying do not use this, because if I want to create an empty set, let's say I have products two, which is a empty set. This is an empty set. Now, what is my understanding of this? Tell me if I create empty curly braces, what do you think Python should be creating empty set? Yes or no? But how do you create an empty dictionary? Now this is kind of conflicting. Yes or no? Now if I try to execute this, this is an empty dictionary, but I'm understanding this is an empty set, but it works for both. Isn't it? Empty set also looks like this empty dictionary also looks like this. So Python has kind of reserved this for dictionary. So that is why I'm saying do not use curly braces for sets. I mean, for defining, for using, do not use curly braces, always work with set function. That is the major point that I want to highlight here. Are you with me? Because this is kind of confusing in some cases. If at all somebody is using set later on in some other program, you may not be using it. But in some program, if you find it, try to always use set function. But how do you define an empty set? Set 
same thing now it is a so always use set function instead of the curly braces that we use for sets now if i want to create another this is products is created which is a set i want to create another set called orders some people have out of these products some people have ordered so phone was ordered phone was ordered again and then toys was ordered toys was ordered again camera was ordered camera was also ordered again like two three times maybe camera was ordered once like these are the six orders like these are the one two three four five products these are the five orders and some orders may repeat also but the thing is if there is any repetition set is a collection of unindexed values that means there is no indexing and unique values automatically taken have you seen in our sets again going back to school days have you seen one was written here and two was written two three times or three was written four five times has it ever happened or we are taking unique collection of values a set means always it is a unique connection of values even though you have given twice or thrice even if i give this is camera thrice even if i give twice or thrice if you see automatically the set will take unique values due to this reason i have seen people using set for exactly getting the unique values that is one use case for set you supply all the duplicates if you want to get unique values in one shot you can use unique function you can use two three other ways set will automatically give you unique values so you will have orders which are unique values now if i put fridge twice here set is an unordered collection of unique values so if i try to print product what's going wrong tell me the double quotes at the end of the fridge at the end of it double quotes are missing that's good so i have product i have orders now let us do some set operations so just for the sake of understanding if i want to do union can you tell me what will be the union of two sets if i do this tv tablet laptop fridge phone and then phone toys camera so it has 1 2 3 4 5 elements this has three elements union will have how many so i will say union set so you can use this pipe operator this is uh, usually we have this slash right if you put shift slash which is like that pipe operator will be there one line operator that is called union so union set will have all the union values fridge tv tablet camera phone toys laptop is there any repetition inside a set possible no not possible now tell me what will be the intersection if i say intersection what will be the output phone toys and camera uh phone is it matching yes toys will it be there phone toys intersection ka matlab hi kya hai what is the no sir only phone in two the set from both the intersection means it's been both toys is it there in both no so let us see the intersection then what else camera will it be there no what is the output that we will get the only value phone. that is only there phone. both the phone. only phone will be the one so intersection intersection set is product and orders phone will be the one now if you want everything without phone that is known as symmetric difference that means whatever is internally intersection that you want to remove and everything else you want to get it if you want to get the symmetric difference there is a function like that there are multiple functions again that set theory or union theory we can uh, get all those values but the thing is set itself is very rarely seen as i told you the data types that you must take very seriously are these or the ones that you will get very frequently something like string see integer and float anyway everybody can handle them there is no big uh, deal with that strings are the ones that you have to be absolutely comfortable list is the one that you have to be absolutely comfortable dictionary is the one that you have to be absolutely comfortable there is no uh, kind of uh, shortcut in this if you are not understanding or if you are not able to get them cleanly you have to watch this video multiple times last video was 2 hours this is like 1.5 hours or 1 hour roughly this 3 hours video maybe some people can finish this 3 hour video in 2 hours with 1.5x speed or somebody may take 5 hours somebody may take 10 hours but nobody can stop you from learning if you compromise right now if you ignore it right now then for the rest of the life you will not be good with coding here we want to not just complete this course or anything we are setting our platform for coding aptitude we want to say i know coding no matter what is the programming language i have the basics of coding i have a structured way of solving coding problems that is the objective of this coding session that we are taking 
continue with the next video in the playlist we are covering everything step by step if you have any questions or the comments please post them in the comments window below